Hi guys, today video is going to be on Pen An and Per An abstract nouns in Indonesian. In our other videos we've looked at some different version of abstract nouns with Ke An. Okay, but the Per An and Per An uh, abstract nouns can be quite difficult for learners of the language. Now before we get into looking at the, the structure of Pen and Per An nouns, we have to think about you know what are abstract nouns. So Abstract nouns are things we can't touch, feel, or see. And to make abstract nouns Indonesian, we can use the prefix and suffix penan or peran with base word verbs and nouns. You can also make abstract nouns, as I said, with base word adjectives using the prefix and suffix keran. So that's the difference there, guys. So keran we use with adjectives to make abstract nouns, and the pen and the peran with base word verbs and nouns. Now looking at the pen an abstract nouns, okay, most pen an or pem an words come from men or me transitive verbs. And this is why the sound changes in the me verbs are also found in the pen an word as well, the abstract nouns. So if you look at the, the process we make it there, you've got the men plus the base word, and in this case it's just the p and the base word an to make the abstract noun. Now looking at some examples of pen an abstract noun. So when you add the pen an to a transitive verb, the resulting abstract noun refers to the result of the action. Now that doesn't really make much sense for some people until we actually look at some proper examples here. So we look at the first one. The base word is pakai. Memakai is the m verb, okay, which has the meaning to use. And pemakaian is usage. So it's the result of the action. Okay, you use something, that's the usage. Next one, membeli is to buy. Pembelian is the actual purchase, the thing that you bought, the result of the action. Okay, so I hope that makes it a bit more clear what we're trying to say there with the result of the action. But um, please note if a me verb has a suffix kan or i, this is removed when making a pen an construction. Now looking at per an abstract nouns, most per an words come or abstract nouns come from ber transitive intransitive verbs and there are no there's no sound change when making per an words with ber intransitive verbs. So if you again look at the pattern again very similar you got the ber plus the base word which changes to the per base word an. Now again when you add the per an to an intransitive verb the resulting action um, the resulting abstract noun refers to the result of the action. Again the same as with pen an. So if you look at the first one, better becomes ber better, which is to differ. Per better an is the difference, okay, the result of the verb. Next one, tanya, ber tanya, to ask a question. Per tanya an is the actual question itself, okay, and you can see a few more examples there going through common ones that you might see. Now, per an abstract nouns from noun base words. So first we've looked at, you know, transitive verbs, intransitive verbs, and now we're going to look at the noun base words. So per an constructions can also be made with a small number of nouns. These per an constructions are a further derivative of the original noun or denote all matters which have a connection with the base word. So what we mean by a further derivative, just a different meaning, okay? More usually a more complicated meaning or an advanced meaning um, than what the original noun already is. Okay, so again, we're going to look at some examples, hope we make it a little bit clearer. So the first one, the further derivatives. So we look at the first one, sahabat, okay, is best friend. Pur sahabatan is friendship. Okay, so just again, extends on the, the base of the first noun. Makes it a bit more complicated, a bit more different. Next one, muka is face. Pur muka an, the surface, okay. And if we look at some examples where it denotes all things which have a connection with the base word, these ones are pretty obvious and pretty easy to spot um, for learners. But like the first one, hotel, per, per hotelan, all matters relating to the hotel industry can sort of be tra translated to hospitality. Okay, hospitality industry, industry, something like that. Ikan is fish, per ikan an, all matters relating to the fishing industry. So fisheries, um, for example, but again... Good to have that, that knowledge of what it is, denoting all things that have a connection with the base word. 
Um, hati hati, so just be careful. In some cases, base words can have both a men and a m and a b verb. Okay, and from these we get both p an and pen an constructions, which have different meanings. Okay, so if we look at an example like kerja, the base word kerja, the m verb meng urja kan means to do something, which means because it's a m uh, verb, it has a pen. Okay, um. Abstract noun, so peng urja an is craftsmanship. We go on the other side, look at the bur verb, the intransitive verb, bur kerja is to work. Pur kerja an is the work, the actual work, the occupation. So you can see slightly different meanings, okay, depending on if it's using the m or the b. And again, those ones you're going to have to watch for and be really careful when you're learning the language you're reading or studying. So just to review what we've learnt today, guys. So per an and pen an constructions make abstract nouns with verbs and noun base words. Pen an is used with men verbs, intransitive verbs. Per an is used with ber verbs or intransitive verbs and some nouns. Some per an constructions are a further derivative of the original noun. So again, make it a bit more complicated in meaning, or denote all matters which have a connection with the base words. And just as we went finally, hati hati, be careful. Some base words can have can have and be made into both a per an and a pen an construction. So hopefully um, this is going to help you with uh, per and pen an abstract nouns. Again, like always, got any comments? Uh, let me know. And hopefully you'll watch our next video. See you again. Bye.